So I don't know how you guys do it, but you do make a shoe, you do make a shoe better every time. I'm here in Dubai and the DP World Tour Championship is just about to get underway and in this video we're going to give you a behind the scenes look at FootJoy's tour seeding process. They've got three brand new products here to show off to some of Europe's best golfers and we're going to get the feedback from the pros once they've tested out the new Pro SL, Pro SL Carbon and the Tour X. And we're also going to give you some insight into what these products can do for you and also find out why the tour seeding process is so important for FootJoy. So just hopefully give you a good idea of what you can expect from these new golf shoes. Well firstly we're looking for tour validation of, of the foot jewelry products that like we're the number one number one shoe on the European tour and the PGA tour so we've got we've got more players wearing foot jewelry product than, than any other brand out there and for us it's really important to get that validation from the players to, to get that feedback and then that's going to give confidence um, to the consumer in our, in our products so um, we always want to hear what the players are saying and these guys are the, the best in the game and their feedback is extremely important to us on current products and how we go about developing future products. I mean, I, I wear this uh, on, on the day. First day can be a competition day. I know they're not going to hurt me uh, at all and I don't need to wear them out. The Pro SL Carbon has uh, more support on the heel again for what we were for what I was just stating. There's a lot of force for a right-handed player uh, when when you're hit at impact and, and clearing through your hips and uh, the Carbon One is, is helping that problem. Well it's another like two another uh, two more great pairs of shoes from FootJoy. Um, I don't really understand how they keep making them better and better every year to be honest. Um, I really like the uh, the idea of the carbon. I think that's going to help a lot of people with the stability on the bottom there. I know a lot of people that kind of struggle with uh, with their feet and having to walk with sort of orthotics in their shoes and stuff. I've sort of been there and done that, so it's, um, I think that's a great great idea to have that. It's something I can't wait to go and test out. Yeah, looking forward to trying it and. Um I mean, it's a great looking shoe, both of them, but these shoes, uh, they build now are so comfortable. I mean, um, the days of having blisters and everything is gone. You just wear them brand new. I, I put a, a, a new pair of Pro SLs on yesterday and no issues just go. And so it's nice knowing that if you want to change and get a new shoe on, you don't have to worry about all those things you used to do in the past. I love it. It's just nice and clean. Uh, and it still looks cool. Um, it feels very light, but I think it's a very clean, sporty look, which which I enjoy. I've used the Proser for so many years now. It's a uh, it's, it's really good shoe, very comfortable shoe. Um, you know, just uh, you can you can go uh, have a drink in the in the clubhouse after without uh, taking the shoe off as well. Very comfortable. You won't you won't you won't feel it on your feet after a round uh, and. Uh, therefore, it's, I think uh, for me, as it is for a lot of other uh, people out there, a really, really good, uh, good golf shoe to have out there. They've just come on leaps and bounds, really. Um, I, you, I, I can't believe the difference. Obviously, the amount of technology that's gone into the Torex sole now to create something that stable relative to what we used to wear when we were kids. I know, obviously, we have spikes and. I was actually a FootJoy Classic man back in the day, obviously, but it was a very heavy shoe, fatigue a lot. Obviously, I had weeks and weeks of play and it was, it was a heavy shoe to wear, but I found it very, very stable and it looked fantastic. I don't know how much technology was in that shoe, but obviously to develop into these, which are very lightweight as well, which is ideal. I'm not wearing anything. It's massive for us when we're playing 72 holes, so um, anyone at home who wants the stability and the and the comfort um, and the lightness of the Pro SL, then this is the shoe for them. 